Hey everybody, it's Dina Rico with the Creativity Cave and I have gorgeous projects to share with you today and what I love about these is they were so not intended. I sat down this morning to work on some Christmas cards because I have all these Christmas card online classes coming up and I wanted to get some more samples made. So I sat down and things weren't really coming together so I thought, ooh, I will try some um, like a card challenge and maybe that'll help get my juices flowing and so this is what happened. So I really am kind of excited about it because I think when you have accidents or unintended cards, that's when like the magic really seems to happen, at least for me. So anyway, <laughs> these cards are using one of my favorite stamp sets, my Blooms and Wishes. And I chose the set because they're really pretty. I've been using it and having a lot of fun with it lately. And I also thought it would be great for some fall colors. And I needed some thank you cards for people who order from my from my online store for October, I wanted to make kind of a fall themed card for thank yous. So anyway, long story short, all of that brought out these beautiful cards and I'm so excited to share them with you because they're really easy. So um, I kind of started out really plain and simple with just a symbol, a simple single <laughs> um, flower. Oh my gosh, I was trying to say butterfly. I'm like, that is not right. <laughs> A simple butterfly on a card. Love this one. Then um, I was inspired by the card challenge on the Global Design Project. So I added this cute little embellishment on the top of that card because this week the challenge was to case the designer, which was BB, And I love BB. She's awesome. So this is what I came up with to kind of go with that. And then I saw another challenge for watercolor. And you know... I can't stop myself these days. I had to do my faux watercoloring technique, which is what I did on here. And then finally, I had to kick it up a notch. So I brought all of those elements in together, added some um, paper flowers that I did the faux suede technique on, and there you go. So here's how it all happened. Okay, so the very first card, I'll pull that out. Oh, and by the way, I'm using like an amazing color combination. Here it is love this. So uh, I, there's a picture of these colors on my blog so you can pin it. But let me show you how I did it. So I start with a half sheet of very vanilla. Now all the dimensions for all these cards and all the details and all that good stuff is on my blog. So please check that out. Um, and when you're there, you should probably just pick up the stamp set because hello, it's so awesome. Um, you can totally shop my online store. <laughs> I'd really appreciate it if you did, though. It helps me bring more amazing, fabulous videos just like this one to you every week. Okay, so I stamped the beautiful flower here. And then I'm actually, I think you're going to like this. I took one of the little leafy images and I'm going to stamp that on there, but I don't like the big long stem. So what I'm going to do instead is just kind of ink up only the leaves on here. Do you see how I did that? just by where I positioned it on my ink pad. And then I'm just going to stamp that right in my card. So I have a little greenery, everything's good. Okay, the other thing that I'm going to do is, and actually this is an afterthought, I just came up with this. I spritzed this with Delightful Dijon, but you know what? We're gonna spritz this these ones with some Gold Wink of Stella because hello, it's pretty and it's gonna be awesome. So I'm just going to tap this on my card and you might be looking at that saying, well, there's not a lot going on there, Dina, but when you pick it up and you can see all the shimmer, do you see all that shimmer on there? It's gorgeous. So that takes a really simple card and kind of kicks it up to the next level. Now I stamped a little note of thanks on a little scrap piece of paper here. I'm going to use my banner punch, which this is still in the clearance rack. In fact, I just checked it out before I started filming this video to make sure. Um, one of these was crooked. Oh, that one. So we'll use this one. Phew. It's a good thing. Pardon me. It's a good thing that um, kind of worked out okay. <laughs> okay. Let me just take a little bit of my edge pieces from my dimensionals here so I can pop this up right on top of my flower. And I will straighten this or cut this off. And then that's really all that there is to this card. I know um, I can, and you know what? I probably can still add, I can probably still add some um, of my delightful Dijon marker because that's actually what I had started with. 
And that just adds a little bit more, but I like, I really like the shimmer. It's pretty cool. Okay, I'm just gonna adhere this to my card and that's it. Super simple, so that's one card down. The second card is also quite simple, but I wanted a few more details happening. So let me flip to that one. That's this one right here. Same exact concept. I started out exactly the same with that beautiful Rich Razzleberry flower. Uh, same cardstock and everything that I'm using, but I'm adding in a few other images. So I'm going to pull out the rest of the colors here in my color combo. And let's see, I need one more. Okay. So for this one, I'm going to use the more of the images in the stamp set. I will start with my Razzleberry flower at the top. Okay. I left enough room because I'm going to add this fun little accent. Then uh, I'm going to take and stamp, well actually I'm going to take and stamp um, my greeting. By the way, this greeting is from the set Thought Thankful Thoughts, I think. Thankful Thoughts, I think. Yes, that is correct. So I stamped my little greeting at the bottom there just for spacing purposes because then I'm going to stamp one flower there. I'm going to ink it up in some Cajun Craze there. So that's Delightful Dijon Cajun Craze. And then I love the addition of this color. Na Night of Navy, which I will fit right in here. And then I think that looks great. You know we're going to do some spritzing and a speckling. So I'll start with my Delightful Dijon just a little bit and then I'll add some of my whatever this is, Winkostella. <laughs> and, oh, I need my leaves. So again, I'm going to do the same kind of stamping or inking as before, but this time I'm gonna use two images. So here is the first one I did. The second image I'm gonna use is also from that stamp set, but I only want two of these leaves because I'm gonna do these on the smaller flowers. So to do that, again, I'm just selectively inking my stamp. And then I'll put some there and I'll do the same thing on this one over here. Okay, so I've got some greenery to add to that. It looks good. I've got my note of thanks. Then I need to take and do my punching. So I this is leftover from the heart in um, Sunshine Sayings. And I, I had an online class with the heart die cut in gold and I had all these center pieces but I couldn't throw them away I mean you can use oh, stuff oh dear it just fell ah, I hate when that happens because now I don't see it on the floor and I don't want to spend the time looking for it so you know what here we go I'll just punch another one anyway I didn't want to throw away all of these little hearts but look I got two punches out of there not bad okay so I'm going to attach this to my card with a stapler um, the Stampin' Up! mini stapler, which is so handy. But I'm also going to add some Knight of Navy Baker's Twine to it. So I'm just going to put a little bit right there. And then um, you guys are going to laugh at this. You know, I always have my little secrets that I tell you about stamping. This one is to tie your bows upside down. Um, I'm just going to tie this bow that I st stapled on to adhere it to the card. And look at when you do it upside down, it totally comes out cute. That's your fabulous, fabulously awesome tip for today. Okay. So cute. Okay. Then I'm just going to attach this to my card and that's it. Such this, I mean, this is a really easy card too. It's a little fancier because there's, you know, some more flowers on there. You could do all kinds of different color combinations. I, of course, like this one for fall, but there's card number two. Okay, number three and four, I'm going to kind of combine because they're basically the same card. I just kicked them up a notch, but they both use uh, watercolor paper instead of the vanilla cardstock that I used on these. And you just have to see how awesome these are. So I'm going to start with my watercolor piece. Again, all the dimension supplies, all that stuff is on my blog for you to check out. Now I'm probably going to speed this up as I show you how I do this because it takes a little while, but I stamped this image. Now on watercolor, you can see it doesn't stamp as nice, but that's okay because what we're going to do is take our aqua painter 
and we're going to do some faux watercoloring. Uh, I've been doing this on my blog a lot lately. I introduced this technique a couple weeks ago, and I just literally cannot stop myself. I've been doing it a lot. In fact, I'm also going to post today another online class, which is my October card buffet. And um, I, we do this on three of the cards. Some of them are really, really simple, but um, <laughs> one of them is a little more involved. And actually, it uses the stamp set. It's so awesome. Mm -hmm. But I just love this technique. It's so easy. All that I'm doing is watercoloring over what I stamped. Then I'll get rid of that extra ink. I have a little rag next to me that I use whenever I watercolor. And then I'm just I'm just coloring the, Im the image that I stamped to make it look like it was professionally watercolored. It's just clear water. And then to finish this off, I just want to make sure that I don't go outside the lines because it just looks, you know, a little nicer. And it looks like I watercolored this by hand versus stamped it. Nobody will know. But I am a horrible watercolorer or drawer. I can watercolor in stamped images, but I can't like just do them uh, freeform on my own. That's the beauty of this. Okay, so I'm going to do the rest of the card. I'm going to speed it up. Okay, so by the way, that was my little signal so I can figure out where to start and stop the speeding up. Now look at how I got a little schmutz on there. That makes me mad, but I can erase it with just some clean water on my brush and look, it's just about gone. Yay, that's the beauty of watercolor. Now that only works on watercolor paper, I might add. All right, now to finish. Okay, so here is my card that I watercolored. I finished this and I think it looks great. This is my sample. So to finish this off, all that I did was I added this to a Cajun Craze layer of cardstock and then to a Knight of Navy card base. I wanna keep continuing and showing you up the second stepped up version though. Um, so what I'm going to do is I went ahead and used my, I think this is called the Blossom Builder Punch. And so I'm going to use this flower and this flower to create some pretty little centers for my flowers because they're just kind of screaming for something to be in there, I think. Um, so what I did is I took this, I punched this out of Rich Razzleberry and then I've been wiggling these flowers really good. Uh, I thought at first, I was like, oh, you know, they can be dimensional and I'll just do two and then offset them from one another. But then once I wiggled these enough, they started separating and I thought, ooh, I could just do the faux suede technique, which if you recall, I've done this many times before on my videos where I just pull the layers of cardstock apart like that. Kind of got to be careful on a punch like this just so that you don't rip it. But look at how cool that is. And then do you see the inside? Is it like a suede look? Okay, so I'm going to just adhere those two pieces together like so. And I think this really is beautiful. Okay, and then I'm going to just glue dot that to the center of the big rich raspberry flower like so. And it's kind of dimensional and pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Okay, now I did the exact same thing. I have the faux suede on this piece too. And sorry, I was just looking because I didn't look right. 
you know, me and my like bifocal situation, I wasn't seeing it quite correctly. And just to re reiterate, I do not have bifocals. I'm not emotionally prepared to deal with that yet in my short 42 years of life. But I do have some vision issues. But I'm just going to keep on being stubborn and in denial. <laughs> okay, so I did these two in the coordinating colors of cardstock. And then I pulled out my tree builder punch, which is right here. And you know, you know, this is my favorite punch. So I did a night, a navy one. Cause when I did, I did the navy one of that, but it covered up most of the flower and I thought that was too much. So that's why I decided to go to the smaller one. And um, again, same concept. You just kind of wrinkle these up, cr cr crush them up, not crush, but like, you know what I'm saying? Except I just did that so much. I can't even unfold it now. <laughs> okay. But I'm just going to pull this apart. And then what's left over is that beautiful suede look. And of course I will just glue dot this to my card. And then last but not least, well, actually not last but not least, but we're going to add, we're going to add another punch, which of course I just used, I used up my punch piece. Darn it all. I hate when that happens. Do things, oh, whew, I just found it. Do things happen like this to you in your stamp room where you're stamping along, everything's going great, and then all of a sudden you drop something or you had it right there and it's gone? Ugh. I know it happens too because people do it at my classes all the time. It just kind of is maddening sometimes, isn't it? Especially when it sort of stops you from whatever you're doing. Now let me do this correctly by stamping or tying it upside down. I don't know what it is. If I'm doing a different technique when I stamp or tie things upside down, but it always, look it, it always comes out perfect. I'm just going to shorten these loops up a little. Turn that off. Okay, now we're almost done. We need just a teensy bit more here. The first, of course, is we need some pearls. I tried, um, I tried these little gold thingies gold enamel shapes they did not look very good I didn't like the look so I pulled them off and we're gonna put pearls on instead so I will do medium sized pearls on my medium flowers a teeny pearl on my teeny flower and a big pearl on my big flower see it's Stampin' Up! just has it all figured out for you it's so wonderful <laughs> I do love pearls and rhinestones though I think they add such a nice touch and by the way when you send a card with this stick a piece of cardstock on top and that'll protect it in your envelope okay we're not done yet we're getting really close though the last thing I want to do is of course some spritzing just a little here and there and of course some wink of Stella in because hello oh my gosh it's so pretty the shimmer is just, it's almost too much, really. I mean, ridiculously beautiful overload. Do you see that shimmer on there, though? I just love it. Okay, so same thing as before. I'm going to layer this up onto my cardstock. I have pre-cut these pieces so that they will line up just gorgeously. And then last but not least, I'm going to actually pop it up on my card. And, you know, as we're, as we're filming this, I, of course, came up with another idea. Um, since this is Night of Navy cardstock, I would like to have it have something nice in the center to stamp or to write on, you know, because it's so dark. So I can just add a piece of cardstock in there. And, of course, we're going to stamp it. I mean, hello. Okay. So let me just... This is when I stamp riff. I just go off off my plan. Um, just in case this is ugly, though, <laughs> we're going to try it. Oh, my gosh. I did all of this without a piece of paper in the background, but we're going to stop and grab one because, you know, it's times like these when bad things happen <laughs> to good stampers. <laughs> Don't you agree? Okay, so I'm just going to stamp this in the corner. I stamped off the first layer, so it's a little more subtle. So if you were to go ahead and write over this, it would be just fine. I'll put a little bit there and then a little there. Isn't that cute? I think that's nice. 
I'm not even going to add the leaves. We're just going to throw this in here. Oh, so pretty. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. Oh my gosh, I love this card. Can you tell? I'm just so excited about it. I hope you do too. It really is easy. Give this a try. It's so much fun. If you need the stamp set, totally order it from my online store. I'd so appreciate it. Every time you order from me, it really helps me out. And I can't wait to see you back here again sometime soon. Thank you guys so much for joining me and have a great day. Bye.